violence against women and girls is one of the most widespread, persistent and devastating human rights violations in our world today. And for this reason, the United Nations, the European Union as well, have embarked on a global multi-year initiative and it's focused on eliminating all forms of violence against women and girls. The code name, the Spotlight Initiative. The EU UN Spotlight Initiative in Nigeria has been able to bring its advocacy to the highest level of government by engaging the President of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, in a national town hall dialogue on sexual and gender-based violence. I command their plans to ensure the creation of a national action plan to combat violence against women and girls. Gender violence has consequences not only for the victims and their families, but on the community and the country at large. Preventing violence against women can save lives and prevent human suffering. While we push for a concerted effort that establishes framework dealing with these issues, we also must integrate educated men and boys on how to embrace gender awareness and recognize the role of women in economic and community development. All of us must stand together and speak out. Try by joining the EU and the UN initiative on Spotlight to fight violence against women everywhere, in our societies, our communities and at home. We need to end this taboo because I would say that uh, everybody of us knows some, someone who is suffering uh, of violence. So I think we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it very bravely uh, with our friends, with our colleagues, uh, but also publicly. With this commitment, the EU and UN have been able to scale up the reach of the Spotlight Initiative far beyond the Spotlight implementation states. In attempts to unite all of us together to have a common front, that is why we have the Interministerial Committee, which comprises of uh, the Ministry of Justice, taking it at the Minister Ministry of uh, Women Affairs, Health, Nigerian Police, uh, Legal Aid Council, National Human Rights. NAPTIF, that's a national agency for prohibition and trafficking presence. Then uh, Nigerian Bar Association is also part of this uh, committee and uh, representative of uh, the SGV and the National Orientation Part, uh, Agency. A lot of the victims of sexual assault uh, unknowingly destroy the cross of the, the case without even knowing. They contaminate this evidence in every case of rape, there are fundamentally two scenes of crime. The body of the woman as well as the physical location where this uh, sexual assault took place. Once we fail in preserving them, then we run into fundamental problems with investigation. Don't clean up. I can tell you that this is an issue that every single governor is taking seriously. The state of emergency that we declared is collective. It's not just Governor Faimi as chairman declaring this. He started at the age of five, which he wasn't using his mind hold, he was using his finger on me. So at the age of seven, the abuse became bad. I was a sex slave for complete seven years under my mother's roof. I've been appealing to all our governors to support the state commissioners of women affairs. We have this problem all over. Issues that affect women are not properly funded. And I'm appealing and I want to see all our governors key in. The EU and UN continue their partnership with Nigerian leadership to keep gender-based violence on top of the agenda and to ensure implementation of the commitments made. What we aim at with the Spotlight Initiative is to put this on top of the political agenda and to make use of the same alliance between the United Nations, the European Union, and the Nigerian leadership within government and, and civil society that we used as well in the response to the COVID-19 crisis. So we want to use the same formula again to address the crisis of gender-based violence. One of those deliberate measures put in by the UN system to ensure that UN agencies pull their synergies and comparative advantages together 
to deliver and to deliver in this case on issues of gender-based violence and also violence against young girls. The United Nations and the European Union, in collaboration with Channels Television and other stakeholders with 75 implementing partners, have once again showed the way for a more just society.